It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Oscar Blues Brewing Company and this is a can of their Death by King Cake. It's a 6.5% ABV ale with vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, cacao nibs, orange peel and pecans. It's a 12 fluid ounce. That would be 340 milliliter can. I think that's about right. Oh, 355 milliliters to be correct. It says here on the side of the can. I was trying to do my maths then, but um, anyway, without further ado, I picked this can up at Cardiff Discount Drinks for £4.25 for the can. We have reviewed the Death by Coconut. If you wanted to have a look at that review, uh, that was a number of years ago. I might look a bit, a little bit younger back then. Um, as he strokes his hair. Uh, but yeah, Death by King Cake. What's really interesting about this beer is I don't know if it's gonna pour out amber, light, stout-like. They call it an ale. So normally if I was expecting all of these different additions to the beer, I would expect a stout. Definitely with cacao nibs, orange peel, pecans, nutmeg, cinnamon and, and vanilla. It, it's pointing in that direction of being a stout. But they call it an ale. So who knows? Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Here we go then. What colour is it? I've chosen a Tiku glass. Oh, it's light. It's a light one. Look at that. When I say light, I don't mean stout like. So it's still it's still amber in colour. It's got a one finger white head, um, good levels of slow moving carbonation. There's a nice haze in the beer. I've not had an Oscar Blues Brewing Company beer for oof, the best part of two years. Um, I miss the beer. I like the beer. I understand that they sold quite a big part of the brewery now to a larger brewer in America. So fingers crossed the quality of the beer has stayed the same. I'll be a pretty good judge of that really because I've not had their beer for two years, three years maybe. So that kind of time scale. I the last time what I'm trying to say is the last time I had an Oscar Blues beer, it was great. It was really good. So you're kind of hoping you're kind of hoping that um, you get that same quality of brew. Let's get the aroma on this hazy amber coloured beer then. It smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. It smells pretty interesting. You get all of that kind of cacao nib, cinnamon, nutmeg. Whatever else they wrote on the side of the can. Vanilla, cinnamon. Pecans, orange peel. It's got the aroma of a, a Scandinavian style beer. You know, where I, I went, I remember quite vividly heading to the, the island of Lysifjorden in Norway. And I remember this place, I stayed in this timber hut in the middle of nowhere. And it was, it was heading towards winter time. So there was ice on the floor. And I remember like opening the door to my hut and I was in the middle of nowhere, it literally like just paths. And, and I remember the smell of the 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 grass and the greenery and the pine cones and it was just wonderful but whilst i was there i decided to do a review and it was of a a foraged it was a foraged beer so 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 they were using stuff from the land so i remember this beer tasting of ginger and pine cones and all of these and i was just in my element because i was in this beautiful place the, Okay, we're four, nearly five minutes into this beer review. I, th this is kind of giving me that same vibe. This is giving me that same spicy, peppery, luscious, layered approach to a 
to an ale. So let, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's it's okay. There's no there's no off flavors in the beer. It's just a bit boring. Um. Oh, that is a real shame. That is a real shame. Although there's a little bit of spiciness going on in the back of the palate here. A little bit of that cinnamon. That cinnamon's kind of slightly burning the back of my throat. But but. but uh, It's not carbonated enough. It's a bit flat. It's a bit kind of. It needs to be have a little bit more carbonation there, just to just to hiss and fizz and push that beer on the inside of the mouth. Is this vanilla? Yeah, they've overdone the vanilla. I think it's like a really vanillary ale. That's first and foremost what it is—a vanillary kind of ale. And then there's a slight creaminess to it, almost like a, I'll tell you what it reminds me of, almost like a, a, a cream soda, slightly reminds me of a cream soda. Little bit of cacao there, little bit of citrus, uh, cinnamon burn on the back of the throat. But this is a biscuity, bready, malty beer with loads of vanilla and then little bits of everything else that they've mentioned. So there's, there's lots of vanilla and then there's little bits of cinnamon, there's little bits of nutmeg, little bits of cacao nib, little bits of orange peel and the pecans. That should really come through as a real nutty... I've had beer with pecans in before and it normally comes through as a real nuttiness it's in the aroma it's not really in the taste it's a bit of a shame this one it, I mean it, it's okay it's okay it's just not blowing my mind it's just not I had visions of this beer from Oscar Blues being just completely wonderful, completely, completely wonderful, but it's just not hitting those heights. It's just not hitting those levels. I, I tell you what I'd like to do is go back through the whole range of, of Oscar Blues beers that I once reviewed when they were an independent craft brewery, when they were owned by themselves. So Dale's Pale Ale, Ten Fiddy, among other beers. I'd like to go over Death by Coconut. I'd like to go back to these beers, revisit these beers and, 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 and really see what they're getting up to these days. Because I think that 40, I fear, I fear that 40% ownership. It might be even more now, who knows. Um, it was 40% two or three years ago when I was speaking to my beer mate. Um, it was full of knowledge and he knew all of these different things. Um, Maybe the larger American brewery ha are having a bit of an influence on this company because it's not the beer that I was expecting. It definitely isn't the beer I was expecting. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So 6 out of 10 for Meal Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.